friends, listen carefully. This is a new episode, episode 29 of Beethoven 250 in 52 posts. My weekly vlog series on social media to celebrate the 250th anniversary of Beethoven's birth this year. And if you've watched all episodes, you have become sort of a Beethoven expert yourself now. And if you would go onto the streets and ask a random person to name one fact about Beethoven's life, he or she, I'm sure, will come up with the subject of this episode 29. Beethoven's deafness. If you had to choose between becoming blind or becoming deaf, what would you choose? I know it's a bit of a childish question, I'm sorry for it, but for sure it's an impossible dilemma. As a musician though, I would think that the only possible answer to the question is becoming blind. It's very tricky, I guess, to play without being able to see anything, but it's not impossible. If you wouldn't be able to hear what you're doing, that would for sure be terrible because it would mean the end of my career as a concert pianist. As it is the case for our dear Ludwig van Beethoven. Already very early in his career, his health and hearing problems appear. In around 1797, when he is only 27 years old, he notices the first trouble with his hearing. Um, it's a very stressful period for him because he's only building up his career. He's just started becoming successful. The symptoms started in Beethoven's left ear with a continuous whizzing and the right ear quite quickly followed, so Beethoven was confronted with continuous weird sounds during the day and during the night. That must be extremely frustrating. He couldn't hear any silence anymore. At the same time, he became very sensitive to sudden loud noises, such as people yelling, and the ability to hear high frequencies declined. And that is very problematic in speaking to people because the decline of high frequencies means that words get deformed and that it's very hard to understand what someone else is saying. So it must have had a huge impact on Beethoven's social life and also on his image or on his career opportunities, because what would people say if all of a sudden they would find out that this great man, this great talent, this great composer was becoming deaf? He must have been terrified, of course, that when he was establishing his career and was becoming very successful, his most important sense was letting him down. And at one point, he even considered to go back to Bonn and to become a farmer and to leave the music world. But luckily he didn't and found his hope again and he wrote to a friend that I will confront my fate and I will not go down without a fight. Now that's the Beethoven we know and that's the Beethoven we like. And yes, fighting he did, especially with his doctors. Beethoven must have been a terrible patient. He was difficult, he was ungrateful, he was very impatient and every therapy he started, he started with over-enthusiasm. He would take overdoses of his medicines, expecting great results, quick, huge results, almost miracles that would cure his problem, which wouldn't happen of course, for which he blamed the doctors and fired them, moving on 
to the next one, trying the next method of, let's say, ear dripping with holy water or with almond water or ear trumpets or bathing. It's very admirable that Beethoven has such an energy and such a resistance in fighting his disease. But in 1802, it becomes too much. Beethoven breaks down, his mental and physical energy are just gone. And his Dr. Schmidt urges Beethoven to leave Vienna and uh, get some rest at the countryside, um, get his psychology and his health back together and most of all, start accepting the fact that Beethoven is becoming deaf. And for once, Beethoven listens to the doctor and on April 23, 1802, he goes to Heiligenstadt, a very small town just outside Vienna where he would write one of his most impressive letters which you will find out in the next episode of Beethoven 250 in 52 posts. Enjoyed this video? Like it, share it, subscribe and donate to it. Especially the last is very effective in keeping this series on air. Now have a good week. Um, if you play an instrument, happy practice and see you next Sunday.